if we find that year after year after year, our new year's goal is I'm going to go join a gym and drop 10 pounds. Cause that's our most common one, right? It's diet and exercise almost. And I believe that's the number one thing. The thing that we're not asking ourselves is why is that important to me now? Because if there isn't a deep why beneath the achievement, beneath the goal, beneath the ambition, it's unsustainable. And what we have to fall back on is not, this was my new year's resolution, but I had a stroke. I want to be around for my children. And if I don't drop this 10 pounds and continue to go to the gym, there's a good chance I'll die before I'm 50. That's a big why, right? right? But if it's just, oh, I want to drop 10 pounds. Okay, but why? And that's where clarity comes in. That's why clarity is the first pillar we discuss because most people aren't clear, not only about what they want, but why they want what they want. We have to have a very deep resounding why beneath it. Dean Graciosi is famous for his seven layers deep is what he calls it. And he paid a coach because the coach said, I'm just going to ask you seven questions and it will change your life and allow you to have the life you want. The question was simply, why do you want what you want? And Dean's like, oh, because I think it would be really great to have X amount of money. Okay. Why do you think it'd be great to have money? Well, because I grew up poor. I, you know, I lived in a car for a while. Like I lived with my dad. My dad never had a job. Okay, why do you not want to live in a car? Well, because kids at school teased me. Okay, why did the kids at school tease you? Well, because I was poor and I had these used clothes and I was a scrawny kid and da da da. Okay, why was their opinion important? They were only on question four and he starts to cry and he says, Well, because all I ever wanted was to be worthy of like the approval of my peers. Why did you need the approval of your peers? That's a loaded why. And so Dean just dialed deeper and deeper. At the end of the seventh question, he's sobbing. And what he realized was, I want to make money and become wealthy because I want to invest in any child who is ever stuck having to be homeless or live in a car or abandoned or orphaned. And I want to make a difference in the world. So that's a much more motivating why than I want to make a lot of money. <laughs> Anybody else in the audience going, <gasps> you're asking these questions and my heart's going out. Yeah. Clearly, I need to ask myself some questions. <laughs> I, like I can't even dialogue that with myself. It has to be with somebody who can help take you and navigate so that you don't get lost with childhood trauma. Because like, I'm not a therapist. I'm not a psychologist. I'm nothing with IST. I'm, I just, I know the questions to ask. Sometimes I have to say, okay, so let's go deeper there. You as an individual, we all as individuals, we have the gift to know exactly what we need. And sometimes we don't want to answer what we need. It's scary territory, right? A lot of times once we put voice to it, then there becomes that, and now somebody else knows, and now I'm accountable, and now I have to do something about it. 